was in boots. Once upon a time, a poor miller died. His windmill was given to the first son. His donkey was given to the second son. And his cat was given to the third son. Meow. You are good at catching mice, but what can I do with a useless cat like you? If you give me a bag and a pair of boots, I will show you how valuable I am. Okay, from now on, I will call you Puss in Boots. The third son and Puss in Boots went into the woods. Hmm, this may be a good place. Puss in Boots pretended to be dead as he waited for a rabbit. Here it comes. Meow! Puss in Boots caught a rabbit. Puss in Boots took the rabbit to the king's castle. I'm a messenger, your highness. Here is a present from the Marquis of Caravas. The king was very happy with the rabbit. Thank your master for me. Puss in Boots brought the king presents every day. One day, the king took the princess on a tour. Puss in Boots waited for the king to arrive and pushed his master into the water. Help! Help! What's the matter? My master is drowning! Thieves stole his clothes and threw him into the water. Thieves? Give my clothes to the Marquis of Carabas. The miller's third son looked very nice in the king's clothes. Puss in Boots was pleased and thought to himself, Now all he needs is land and a castle. Then, Puss in Boots went to a great castle. It was the home of a huge, cruel ogre. Knock, knock, knock! Dear Lord Ogre, my respects! What do you want, cat? I heard you're very powerful. Can you turn yourself into any animal? Of course! I don't believe it. You can't change into a lion. Hmm, I'll show you. The ogre turned himself into a lion. See? I'm a lion. I'm so scared. You can be a big animal. But I bet you can't turn into a small mouse. Hmm, I'll show you. The ogre turned himself into a mouse. See, I'm a mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Puss in Boots caught the mouse and locked the ogre in a cage. Puss in Boots opened the doors of the castle and shouted, Welcome to the castle of the Marquis of Carabas! What a nice castle! The miller's third son became the real Marquis of Carabas and proposed to the princess. Would you marry me, princess? I would love to marry you, Marquis of Carabas. The next day, the Marquis of Carabas and the beautiful princess were married. 
see. I'm not a useless cat. Meow. 